legends tell of the Devil Baby of Bourbon Street, a Creole doyenne's monstrous kid adopted by voodoo queen Marie Laveau and baptized by Madame LaLaurie. The infant haunted the French Quarter and its surrounds for years, but some think it still haunts the tight alleyways and alleys. Some say its small bones and those of its godmother Marie Laveau are moldering in her famed grave in St. Louis Cemetery, number one. Older versions of this New Orleans boogeyman, or boogie baby, were made from dryad, hollowed gourds. In ancient Creole cottages, rudimentary devil, baby dolls were put in windows to scare off the actual devil baby, who lurked beyond the gaslights. The local hoodoo root workers occasionally left primitively carved devil baby dolls with horns and knotted jute tails on victims' stoops. Marie Laveau apparently disliked leaving Devil Baby effigies because it made light of her adopted ward, the genuine Devil Baby's afflictions. Very few. Eerly, hand carved devil. Baby dolls exist today. The number of these small effigies in circulation is impossible to quantify since households with such an inheritance normally keep it secret and pass it down through generations. However, New Orleans saw additional devil baby dolls in the early 20th century. These doll-like versions were dressed in children's clothes and could stand on their own with filled bodies and moving limbs. The devil baby dolls usually have leering, glassy eyes and little forehead horns. A lady who played with the devil baby as a youngster remarked these dolls had the most realistic devil baby faces. The first, haunted, dolls. In ancient New Orleans, they were a black market commodity that required connections to hidden societies and vodons. None of the dolls survived this era, perhaps due to Marie Levo's curse. Only fragments of one doll survived, kept away until recently. Recent Haunted New Orleans and Haunted America tours tales about the Devil Baby led local artist and Mardi Gras parade designer Ricardo Pustano to find the final remaining Devil Baby doll, C. 1900. For the haunted site story, he recreated the doll in the original size and design. The new Devil Baby dolls are full-size copies of the turn-of-the-century dolls made in New Orleans, and like their predecessors, they are off. Handmade, sculpted dolls appear to have a life of their own. They watch you move around the room and whisper and rustle when they're together. Pustanio was interested. What would happen if he separated the dolls, which were manufactured without magical purpose, yet looked to be moved by an extraterrestrial agency? Though no one loves devil baby dolls, Pustanio convinced a few pals to retain one for safekeeping. Pustanio's buddies soon complained about having the dolls and wanted them back. Even separated, devil baby dolls are diabolical. One man said his devil baby doll moved by itself while no one was around. The devil baby was kept in a spare bedroom closet and would be laying on the carpet when the naive caretaker returned from work. Another devil baby doll was said to have got loose at night at the house of a couple toppling ashtrays and covering the kitchen floor with beads from a bead-making craft kit. Since the couple had no pets or children, the bizarre events had no other explanation. In the days before Hurricane Katrina, acclaimed psychic, Reese received a third devil baby doll at his new Lakeview house. Reese, a rare doll collector, loathed the devil baby, but grudgingly kept it. He was awakened up by a baby, sobbing every night, for two weeks. After the doll was in his home for two weeks, Hurricane Katrina flooded the residence with seven feet of murky water. Reese was shocked to see the Devil Baby doll was one of the few missing items in his wrecked house. Devil Baby doll was purchased online from Pustanio by paranormal investigator Sylvia Cross, who studies possessed artifacts. She thought it would be wonderful for her eerie doll collection, but she bought the actual thing. She saw changes in the doll's posture from morning to evening, heard snuffling and screaming near the baby, and her two cats wouldn't go near the doll, refusing to be in the same room with it. Cross remarked, Some objects are just 
born, for lack of a better word, with a dark soul. I suppose the devil baby is one. You can almost see a trapped, sad soul in its eyes. Others think the devil planted the glimmer there and claims every devil baby as his own. Cross thinks her Pustanio voodoo queen doll is haunted. Pustanio insists that his dolls are made of skill, not magic or ghosts, although many think they are possessed. It is intriguing that Pustanio's last 15 years of painting and sculpture have been reported to include supernatural elements. As an early exhibition from his extensive collection of New Orleans-inspired artwork, Ricardo Pustanio auctioned his Devil Baby dolls on eBay in addition to his web business. One Devil Baby doll has changed hands multiple times on eBay. Buyer beware was never more accurate. When asked whether his work is haunted, Pustanio shrugs and replies, I've heard about haunted dolls since I was young. We inherited several from our relatives, but I never believed my dolls would be haunted. Ricardo Pustanios. Devil. Haunted or not, baby dolls are popular. Each is unique and may be dressed in the buyer's baby clothing. Pustanio also makes voodoo queen, zombie, elwa, and you dolls that can look like whatever person the client wants.